Hello, how are you doing? I hope you're doing fine. I'm greeting you today from this magical island of Maui on Hawaii. And I'm not saying that to brag or anything or to be like more privileged or something, but to simply remind you that you can also be there and do that. I am not one single bit greater or better than you are, but you can do it as well. And here in this video, I would love to share four steps that made me transform into the person that I am now, right? And these four steps, it took me actually over 30 years, yeah, more than 30 years to get to this point. And these four steps are just the key of all my transformation that I went through. So step number one is that I did, I changed my diet. So it is very important to do a healthy and clean eating, meaning stop eating meat, right? Maybe you're not eating meat anyway, because I think most of us know nowadays already anyway, that when the animals are killed, they are in a total stress, they are in panic, they are full of fear and maybe even aggression. And by eating their meat, of course, we have their energies then within right? And if you are a meat eater, then I just recommend give it a try and reduce the amount of meat to a minimum. And I guarantee you, you will feel a lot better, right? Step number two is our bodies were simply not made to sit around all day. Yeah. And when I was in my lowest point in my life, that what actually saved me was Tai Chi, Qigong and Wushu Kung Fu. And I'm not suggesting you, you know, that you should do exactly these techniques. But what I am suggesting is to do either martial arts or yoga. And why is that? Because Every trauma that we experience in our lives is always stored and stuck as a blockage in our fascias and in our muscles. And by practicing martial arts or yoga, these blockages are released. Yeah? It's also emotional release that is stored in your body and that you can let go of if you practice these techniques. So that's step number two. And step number three um, is I studied, you know, and read tons and tons of books. I think I started, I was, I think, 17 or something, reading psychological books and then spiritual books. And the biggest changing point for me was actually, must have been about 2008, when I studied quantum physics. And the key sentence here, the key truth was, it is your mind that creates your reality. And this was actually a very interesting point because I then remembered that I had really long ago, I think it must have been 95, I started off um, doing psychotherapy, which I only did like one month or something because it was not the right thing for me. Um, because I had read so many books up to then and I just had the feeling what can someone else tell me now about myself I would have to go there for years to tell them my whole story so it wasn't the right thing I, I'm not judging psychotherapy it can be very very good for you just to you know get to understand things and also it can be very valuable just to have someone to speak to uh, about your your things that are bothering you or so but I remember at that point, we came to a point where I had to do um, affirmations. So I was repeating these affirmations every day, like saying, I am worthy and I love myself. Yeah. But then I noticed I had this voice within saying, no, you don't. No, I'm not worthy. And then at that time, I had no idea what it was. But when I opened myself and studied quantum physics and quantum theory and all that, I suddenly got in contact with limiting beliefs, with subconscious limiting beliefs. And here is step number three. This is to let go of 
your subconscious limiting beliefs. And here's where I step in. This is, I'm specialized in that. I've been treating many, many clients successfully in the past many, many years in deleting up to 300 subconscious limiting beliefs online in a only two hour session and they're instantly deleted from your system and replaced with positive ones. And you might ask why, how come 300? And that is why after all these years, I came to a point where I noticed everyone has it's kind of the similar, the same subconscious limiting beliefs. So I sat down and wrote them all down and counted them and they were up to 300. That's why I know the number and they're kind of the basic subconscious limiting beliefs that we all have, right? Like saying, I am not worthy, I am not good enough, I'm not okay the way I am, I don't love myself, love is linked to conditions, I have to meet expectations and so on. Yeah, I'm not going to count them all now, but just to give you an idea how come I know all these sentences, yeah? So this is actually step number three. And this will also save you because I have to also say, I, I, you know, it cost me about thousands and thousands of euros of treatments after this psychotherapy, which I just did this short time. I went for years and years um, to my spiritual teacher, which helped me a lot working on my patterns and past lives. But yeah, I mean, with this just one single two hour session deleting all your subconscious limiting beliefs, you are freed. Yeah, you are free because they are the ones that rule our world. And when they are deleted, your path is free for you to create your dream life, to live your highest potential. And this is where the fourth step steps in, and that is to work with the techniques of manifesting. And I also did a couple of videos on that. You can find them here as well. I will put them in the links below so it's easier for you to find them. And that is the fourth step. And just by simply following these four steps, like eating healthy and clean, doing either martial arts or yoga, deleting your subconscious limiting beliefs and replacing them with positive ones and doing the techniques of manifesting, that brings you, I guarantee you, your dream life that puts you in a situation where you can live your highest potential, where you can live your life full of joy and happiness the way it's meant to be, right? So, I hope this video was of help for you and I wish you a beautiful day.